Trump's courtroom baggage follows him to White House. As voters across the country were voting Tuesday to elect billionaire Donald J. Trump the next president of the United States, lawyers and a judge dealt with new motions in a California court in what may be one of the most important of 75 or so still open lawsuits involving Trump and his businesses. In fact, the last seven days saw a flurry of motions, responses and rulings in one of the class action lawsuits brought by former Trump University students, who say the Republican President elect's company ripped them off for tens of thousands of dollars in tuition for a sham real estate course. The Trump University cases, there are three of them still open, are among the most serious remaining lawsuits involving Trump and his companies as the businessman transitions from Canada to the White House because they involve allegations of fraud and racketeering. Among the other cases are a $4 million lawsuit brought by a Republican political consultant who said Trump defamed her, a class action claiming his presidential campaign broke consumer protection laws by sending unsolicited text messages to people's cell phones, and a suit by a golf club employee who says she was fired after complaining to her bosses about sexual harassment. But the most problematic for President-elect Trump will likely be the real estate course racketeering and fraud cases, because of the seriousness of the allegations made. In any one of the cases, an official ruling by a court that Trump or his company were financially liable for fraud could provide Congress with grounds to consider impeachment proceedings. There's a hearing Thursday in the California case to hash out motions that will set the tone for the trial, which is set for November 28, 28.